they had taken my truck and made it into a swimming pool. It's still going and they said it was off. We like talked about it. I didn't realize it was actually gonna happen. While we were cleaning up, they were nice enough to like dump it out the end. So today I'm not driving around with the pool, uh, fortunately enough. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Mason Hereford. Right now I'm getting a tattoo from my dear friend Kenny Cox here at Galactic Tattoo. Tattoo just started. A little hungover, a little tired, but very good. I own a couple restaurants in New Orleans. Turkey and the Wolf and Molly's Rise and Shine are their names. And we like to have happy, fun times there. Turkey and Wolf Sandwich Shop. Half the menu sandwiches, half the menu are things that we love that could go with sandwiches. Some of them are sort of rooted in nostalgia and like shit we grew up eating. We got a collard green sandwich, a bologna, sort of a collaborative effort from a group of buddies that are all in the kitchen. We're at a sandwich shop to have a good time. Can we get some beers back here? The restaurant's not currently open, so we're allowed to have beer while we're here. We got two chefs here. One's name is Nate, and then Phil is the other chef. Nate went out to dinner and got some paneer and spinach, like a curry dish, at, a, at an Indian restaurant. He was like, you know, it was just so good. I wonder if we could make something like that uh, out of cheese sticks. And I was like, that's hilarious and really fun. Why don't we uh, get together and make that happen for a special one day? All right, roadie's getting the flip. Looks like we're done. So the first thing that goes on to the roadie is the Burberry collard green mayonnaise. Next up, let's go with the arugula. We'll make a dish and then everyone will taste it. And then it'll be like, hey, what about this? I think Will was like, I'll put the arugula on there, you know? So that happened. So we'll put some cheese sticks on there in a very nice sort of pile as if they fell from heaven. A little bit of onion, I think that was Nate's idea. Bob, Bob might have stepped in and said, I think it needs a little coconut. Phil, he was probably like running the kitchen or something that day, and he was like, hey, it needs uh, hot sauce. And then the hot sauce came on there. Nate birthed the dish, and then I, I showed up that day and was like, good job, everybody. Just a little lemon, just one on top. Here we are with a the turkey and the wolf love letter to a paneer kachi roll, and it was a collaboration from a bunch of uh, happy friends. Last night, we teamed up with three of my great friends and my wife. Kenny also tattooed a picture of her head on my body. She's beautiful and wonderful, and I love her, and we have a dog named Darla. We also brought along Nene Wynn, a Vietnamese-American chef who grew up in New Orleans. Ashton Berry came along, an activist, veteran, hospitality worker, a sommelier. She's like an everything person. Tori Folks from Turning Tables was in on the party. Turning Tables is his program he started uh, that's doing just awesome work in New Orleans, uh, advocating for equity in the hospitality industry, and education for uh, BIPOC members of the community looking to get into you know awesome bar stuff. Uh, who wants what in their cup? Beer, shot, Underberg, okay. Shots. Uh, they're of varying sizes. Can I have this one actually? I like this. Oh, did I pour an extra? Can't you a shot? Shot? We started the night with a round of shots. Go have fun together, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a mixed match Ooh. color. So Party. luxury, oh. luxury. Oh. All right. Woo. Luxury at its finest. I, I see you. You guys like the, like, we're closed off from the world? Or you want to see some shit? I want to see some shit. I feel like I'm gonna get car sick or some shit. It's like being in the back of a uh, tractor trailer. Trashy diva. Like it would be. Hey, this is how I dress. We're gonna get daiquiris and metairie. Is that where we're going first? Daiquiris is yeah. is for locals. Yeah. What I've learned is like you know a classic daiquiri. It's mistaken for a frozen daiquiri, but New Orleans has. Perfected Both. the frozen daiquiri, daiquiri right. in a way that like people don't think about. Rum so daiquiri. rum daiquiri is actually from the Caribbean. It's really interesting because like all throughout. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All throughout the. <laughs> what? 
she doesn't know what I did. Yeah, go around. Right, go. I just like that. <laughs> it was like two people that both knew, and then you started, and you were already like, just so you know, I'm about to tell you yeah. so much about this. <laughs> and then you go, I'm sorry, were you good? <laughs> Can't fit the van through the drive-thru, so we're gonna do the walk-through. We came for some drive-thru daiquiris, but without a car. I'm thinking maybe white Russian and pina colada. I'm gonna do the dark Russian too, medium. I got a dark Russian, which was half fudge sickle, half white Russian, and it was fucking killer. How do they not sell french fries? I wonder if Seafood Dini's has some french fries. Uh, I can guarantee you Seafood Dini's has, see, has french fries. I'm gonna go get french fries. Okay. This is like as strong as a cocktail, but doesn't taste like booze at all. I want to taste it. It is nothing. I've never had one that tastes less like alcohol in my life. Ashton got a shrimp basket. Thank you. Have a good one. It turned out Dini Seafood has like some of the dankest fried shrimp ever. It's not bad it's fried. Mm, the fried good idea, Ashton. Dude, those shrimp are fucking good. I'm not about to keep holding this like y'all know. <laughs> but the daiquiris were phenomenal. Everybody thinks fried shrimp is just fried shrimp, but it's whatever, it's whatever. It's not whatever. It was perfectly cooked. Perfect. Crust, perfectly flaky. Eat the whole thing. It was the shit. You could eat, yeah, you could eat, you eat the, the, the tail. The tail. It the was tails were delicious. Let's make a little ma mini drink. Because the daiquiri wasn't enough? Uh, it was sweet. It was a little sweet, so I'm gonna go to bourbon and Coca-Cola to really bring down the sugar. Oh, where are we pho going, Nini? Uh, Nini knows. Pho orchid. Pho orchid. Which doesn't only serve pho. I always have a question of like Vietnamese influence on like New Orleans food that's never explored. A story that's not all always told about New Orleans is like the amazing contributions to the food scene by uh, Vietnamese. Americans and the Vietnamese food in New Orleans is the best I've ever had. I'm first generation, so my mom came from Vietnam. If we have an influence here, but people might not see it. Vietnamese people pretty much run the seafood industry. Mm -hmm. Like the seafood that you eat here is most likely have been touched by a Vietnamese person. Many is huge. Uh, massively huge. So let's do three orders. Three orders. Three orders. So I did chicken wings. I got egg rolls. I got barbecue beef. I got this pressed steamed noodle dish with um, shrimp, but the shrimp is like like a sausage. Shrimp sausage. Oh, like the sugar cane. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the raw beef salad with lime and herbs. Mm. That is everything. Um, and then I got the, the setup where it's like a bunch of meat that we grill. Oh, yeah. And we're going to make spring rolls. We used to call that the showstopper. You're gonna make, you can make your own spring rolls? Yeah, you're going to make your own spring rolls. Yeah, you dip it in the water. They brought out a hot plate situation we call it the showstopper. Beef, shrimp, and squid, and giant chunks of butter. You throw the butter on the little hot plate, and then we grill it all. And then you make your own spring roll by dipping a, a wrapper in some water. Going straight taco. On the real, this is <laughs> so fucking good. Well, it was a, a perfect spread. <laughs> Did you watch this episode of that show? Yeah, I did. I loved it. What? The dating show. Oops. What? What date? <laughs> we gave Tori a couple jabs about this being his second time behind the camera for a sort of reality situation. He was on Dating Around. We watched it with him. And, and then Ashley was like, oh shit, for real tonight? Like, let's let's have a screening. Like, where, whose house are you at? Where are you at? Ashley's house. So you're watching it for the first time yeah. while Ashton and Martha tell you what you're doing wrong and right? Yeah. That is so intense. We went to Free Thai, helmed by Charlie Pierre. It's a Haitian restaurant. Ture said we had to get the okra, and I hadn't had that yet, but basically it's like a vegetable fritter with a sauce that honestly blew my mind. But perhaps the best thing I tasted all night was this sauce. I was freaking out about it. That sauce is so good. That's a fucking 10. We had two kinds of wings. Wings were banging. We got two kinds of plantains. Uh, one was straight up, and they were just perfectly cooked. 
And then the other one has like a coconut lime powdery coating on it. That's kind of mind blowing. And an oxtail stew with smothered greens. That's like a classic. I think they only do that two nights a week. And then the salmon head was fucking wild. You kind of pick the meat off. Great thing about a salmon head is it's all fucking good. Yeah. Because it's all with the bone, it's all touching the bone, so you get yeah. all that juiciness. Yeah, no matter where you hit it from, you good. Look yeah. at that skin. The skin's got like a fatty layer. The star of the show was the beverages. The drinks at Free Thai are fire. Hey, cheers, guys. Cheers, everybody. To the dopest drink in town. Still the shit. It's so good, I think about it all the time. Torre ordered for the table uh, sort of like a drink to share situation called a setup, which is like a New Orleans uh, staple way of drinking in the black communities. And then Torre and Ashton sort of gave us a history lesson on it and it was fucking cool. I mean, it's just a really cool vibe. Um, the whole thing just feels like it's rooted in community. And it's, I don't know, it just feels good to be there. He's literally just poking me. <laughs>